the thing I wanted to talk to you about, because I do occasionally get to pe talk to people who don't understand climate change, who don't believe or don't want to believe that it's happening. And I say to them, well, look, let's just put, we'll just put climate change up here, just out of the way where nobody's looking. So climate change is up there, let's not worry about it. But let's look at some of the other wonderful things that have come together in our generation on this planet. Oil. The oil is running out. It's a finite resource. We, we live on a planet that lives alone in the universe, and the oil is finite. We are using it at a greater and greater rate. We think now that the supply has peaked, and that it's going to dip away and disappear very, very quickly. And the oil will be gone. And I feel very sorry for the hooms. <laughs> the people have devoted their life to petrol and fumes, and there will be no petrol. And, and you can't be a hoon in an electric car. <laughs> you cannot drive through King's Cross on a Saturday night going, mmm. <laughs> wind your window down and go, hey, girlie, show us your tits. Because <laughs> she's just going to yell back, show us your internal combustion engine. <laughs> there you go. And look, it's when I talk to people about oil, they say, well, so what? What we'll do is we'll turn food into oil. And that's what the Americans, Brazil is ripping out the, uh, the, uh, uh, the rainforest to grow uh, sugar to turn into biofuels. It's a big thing. We're turning food into fuel. Great idea, because one of the great problems on this planet today is that there are too many people. <laughs> too many people. That's why you're here, because you don't want anybody else on the planet bar you. <laughs> now, the other great challenge for us is water. Okay, water, because of sea level rise, acidification, of uh, pollution of our waterways, overuse of our aquifers, um, the drying and, and droughtification of Australia, water's becoming a big problem. And so the current policy of all first world governments today to deal with this quadruple threat of oil, food, people and water is this. They'll turn food into biofuels, which means there is less food for people which means that more people die, okay? <laughs> thus solving the population problem. But here's the clever bit, people are 80% water. <laughs> In the water to grow more food, so we get more biofuel, so more people die, so that we get more water to grow more food to give to biofuel, so there's less food for people, more people die, we get more water, and that is the circle of sustainable living that we are in today. <laughs>